Between Lakes Ontario and Erie, there is a vast and prodigious cadence of water inasmuch that the universe does not afford its parallel. The waters from this outrageous precipice do foam and boil, making an outrageous noise more terrible than that of thunder. But when the wind blows out of the south, their dismal roaring may be heard more than 15 leagues off. Father Hennepin, a Franciscan with the La Salle expedition exploring the continent west of Lake Ontario, provided the first written words describing the world's greatest waterfall. 20 years later, a French engineer, Monsieur Vauban, advocated the canal across the Niagara Peninsula. Niagara Falls is tremendously high, but there is nothing there which cannot be corrected by men. And a canal eight or 10 leagues long with the locks will remove the difficulties. But Vauban had never actually set foot in the New World and never set eyes on the falls. It was perhaps for this reason that his concept of a canal between the Great Lakes was not taken seriously. For George Washington, a canal across the Niagara Peninsula, linking Lake Erie and Ontario, would be a blow to the very future of the United States of America. How do we prevent the Western territories from falling into the hands of the Spaniards by way of the Mississippi, or the English by way of the St. Lawrence, he asked, and provided his own answer, an Erie Canal. <laughs> 